welcome to Ask Endocrinologist. Here with me is Dr. Hope. Hello, my name is Dr. Hope and I'm an endocrinology attending. I've been practicing endocrinology for over 20 years. If you are watching this video for the first time, we welcome you. This is the channel where we talk about health and how to stay healthy, especially in relation to your hormones. We encourage you to watch our videos, share, subscribe, and pass the message around. The more you know, the better you are. Today, we'll be talking about underactive thyroid. I want to ask you, what do, where is your thyroid? What organ is that and what does it do? Exactly. A lot of people are not aware of this thyroid. They don't even know what it is. So we have talked about it in previous video, but to give a quick cap, it is a small butterfly gland that is located in front of our neck and it controls our body metabolism, which is the, the way we make energy and the way we use the energy. So it balances it up. It can be underactive. And that is why today we'll be talking about what can make your thyroid underactive. What are the symptoms that you will feel when you have underactive thyroid and how can you manage it? So Dr. Hope is going to help us to talk more in detail about it. The floor is yours, Dr. Hope. Okay. So what is underactive thyroid? So underactive thyroid is when your thyroid is not releasing enough thyroid hormone and that causes your body metabolism to be slow. So everything pretty much slows down within your body, within your metabolism. What are the causes of an underactive thyroid? The most common cause is Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disorder, uh, a genetic disorder that decreases the amount of thyroid hormone released in your body. But other causes of hypothyroidism include um, inflammation or infection, uh, surgery, so having had surgery where the thyroid is removed, also some medications, like if you're on a high, uh, medication for to treat hyperthyroidism, getting too much of that medication like methimazole or propylthiouracil, but most commonly methimazole now can decrease it as well. And uh, after pregnancy. So after pregnancy, we can have a postpartum thyroiditis in which you have an overactive thyroid and then an underactive thyroid. Uh, what are some of the symptoms of hypothyroidism? The most common symptom is fatigue. So just feeling tired, uh, overall, just, you know, tired all the time, um, is one of the most common symptoms. Another common symptom is weight gain. So, uh, just, um, you know, gaining weight and not understanding why you're gaining this weight is a, is a cause, uh, having dry skin. Uh, dry coarse skin, even dry hair and hair loss, constipation, uh, changes in your menstrual cycle is another cause, uh, having maybe heavy bleeding or decreased uh, menses uh, is an important cause. Uh, having muscle weakness and uh, just having really tenderness and weakness in the muscles specifically um, can be another cause of another symptom of hypothyroidism. Um, even having uh, numbness and tingling in the hands can be a cause of hypothyroidism. It can be associated with something called carpal tunnel syndrome as well. Uh, so those are some of the very common uh, symptoms of hypothyroidism. So what is the treatment? So the treatment is uh, levothyroxine. So thyroid hormone replacement. If you're missing thyroid hormone, we replace it with uh, a synthetic form of thyroid hormone. And one of the most common forms or brands is something called Synthroid. So you may know it as Synthroid. And uh, you basically take that on an empty stomach, should be taken on an empty stomach uh, and not with anything else. So it should be, you should drink with water, take it on an empty stomach, um, and it should not be taken within three or four hours of vi certain vitamins like iron or calcium, because those can decrease the absorption as well. And you should wait at least 30 minutes before you eat. Go to your doctor and they can draw blood work for T4 and TSH, and they will definitively know whether you have hypothyroidism or not. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. 
So if today uh, you feel like you are having the symptoms of hypothyroidism, go check it out. And the take on point for you is that don't ignore those symptoms. Get tested. And if you have been diagnosed of hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid and you're on medication, take your medication as prescribed. It's very important so that the medication can work. So we'll see you next week. Thank you.